Hi there, it's Tim with Far North Magic. I got delayed today. I'm uh, posting, this is gonna be the video for what I end up buying for uh, July of uh, 2022. It's uh, unfortunately not super exciting uh, just because uh, money went to one big purchase and then uh, pre-orders, that we'll have to see uh, what I do with when they come in. So I was working on getting some stuff done for the fall because there's just so many things coming out. I didn't want to get caught where I miss a whole release or that I would want to buy. Like, I'm not sure that I'm going to buy from everything, but... There's just going to be way too many things to buy come the fall. So, starting out uh, this month, I ended up getting a draft set of the Scars Mirrodin block. And I plan to open these uh, later. Um, I'm not really sure exactly when, but it'll be a nice little uh, rip that will probably not hit anything crazy but still there's at least some reasonable cards in these sets it hasn't been all reprinted to zero and uh, we'll be hunting them later on so that was one of the things I got uh, one of the other things that's kind of not super exciting was I got two more boxes of draft boxes of Throne of the Throne of Eldraine. Uh, just before they end up going up, I don't think they're going to go up a super amount uh, anytime soon because the uh, it's not going to be one of those sets where the EV is super high and then you can bust them and then like that leads to a lot of boxes getting uh ripped apart and i also think there's going to be some resistance against big moves on a lot of this 2020 stuff like it will move a bit but it won't move enough that you can make a bunch of money without the people like pulling it out of their closets i think like because it's like a big thing with buy a lot of 2020 product it's a home run like thing but I think that's only because everyone a lot of people are in the accumulation phase of the like stuff that was impacted by the pandemic a lot uh, I was looking at getting some Theros Beyond Death but I didn't get that far uh, so that might be even the next couple months maybe I'm going to look for that might be one of the things I look for out of the Black Friday deal. So, again, as I say, not too exciting. Just what every, most people have said. Get your those sets out of the way. But I also don't think they're going to go too crazy. But that's just me. Uh, some of the next things I got was I grabbed one more Kamigawa Collector. Now that they are a slightly more reasonable price. Um, these are, I don't know, I think it was around 290, 290 or 295 Canadian. Still not a super cheap price per se, but it was a lot better than the three something, 350 that a lot of stores were going at for a while so I figured I'd grab that while I could uh, another th one that I grabbed that's probably a mistake is I grabbed one more uh, Commander Legends 2 collector um, probably should have just grabbed uh, like two draft boxes or something instead of this um, but because at least the draft boxes you can draft but I don't know I guess I'll see add that into the deep storage where I just forget about it 
and hope that it actually does something years from now. Uh, I grabbed one more Modern Horizons 2 set box. Uh, a lot of stores had these sold out and then uh, I guess the last little wave uh, is, get, is put out there now. So um, there was a store that had them for it was 280 which isn't super crazy price uh, Canadian so I figured most stores that I've been looking at were like that were around three were now 330 340 so I figured I'd like snag it one last box uh, I would have liked to get more but I was trying to use just some store credit up that I had so I figured it'd be better to like I don't want to spend all my actual dollars end up um, just because I want to save those for like upcoming stuff but and the last thing that I got was, I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, it is a collector's uh, case of Double Masters 2022. So it's eight boxes of collectors in this nice little cube. But um, originally I was thinking of opening it, but then I think that's pretty crazy. So, but I thought that when I got my VIPs originally, I was just going to hold on to them and I opened them and then got more, then opened them <laughs> and then got more and uh, I kind of regret doing that in a way because I don't have any VIPs left. So I wanted to get this out of the way, but... I also fear that I'm gonna cave and open it <laughs> so I don't really know we'll have to see maybe I'll have more <laughs> collector openings uh, maybe I won't but um, that ate up a lot of my budget as uh, if I did it for openings I'd at least be able to turn uh, some stuff over into getting other boxes or product but when I get it to just put in like a a storage um, it makes it hard to do a whole lot else with uh, the budget that I got going along with some of the pre-orders that I was starting to work on so Anyways, uh, I figured I would just do one of these videos as uh, I kind of got doing them the last few months as just a way to see what I've been doing and ask you guys, what have you been buying? What are you, uh, what have you bought this month or well last month, I guess, because this is going to come out on August 1st. Uh, what did you buy for July? What are you looking forward to buying in the fall? I would like to know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Take care, and I hope to hear from you, and see you later. Bye.